Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Root Learnings and uh, this is the next video in the series. We are making clinic management system. If you are interested, then you should uh, sit back, relax and enjoy the learning experience. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. In any case, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Right. So in last video, we made this form. Actually, not this form. We kind of refined this form, you know, uh, but we are now going to make another form which will be medicine. So we can store the information about the medicine. Um, we will have the similar kind of mechanism. We will have a list view of the medicines and then we will have a little form to perform the card operation as well. So similar structure, similar mechanism to what we have done for the staff. And uh, so let's get started. Yeah, rather than me just talking, we'll uh, get into action. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this form and I'm going to paste and I'll say manage medicines, right? So that's the name of the form. So let's go ahead and uh, clean it up. So we'll uh, right click design view and uh, by clean it up, I mean uh, we'll get rid of these. Oh, come on. All right. So we'll get rid of all of these fields. Okay. And then I'll go to create staff button. And I will go behind the scene. I'll get rid of the code as well. Uh, one more thing I need to do is change the caption to create medicine because this button will be now used to create a medicine. So in here, we'll change the name instead of staff. We'll say create medicine. Perfect. Okay. So that was quick. Now we need to make sure that this form has a record set. And uh, we are going to have the direct link to the table because there is no form key so therefore there is no id so therefore we don't need to make a query to uh, bind that query with uh, this form so what we will do is we'll click on sorry we'll uh, click on the uh, corner upper corner of the form and we double click on it the property sheet will appear and in here we'll go to the data tab at the moment staff queue is the record source we'll get rid of it save it and then we will assign uh, a new data source which is tbl medicine Okay. Once we have done that, that means we can fetch the fields of uh, this form onto this form. So here we go. We'll uh, oh, there's a line control as well. So let's uh, bring it down because we would need line later on. Where did I where did I send it? Okay. Uh, so let's expand this. Let's bring it down. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color to full black. And then I'll right click on all of the fields and I'll say layout tabular. Okay. And in here, I will just simply bring it down and bring it up. And this, we will make it as white color font. So we will actually uh, do that later. Here we go. What we'll do is basically we'll do the uh, spacing a little bit. Okay. Oh. Expire it. Okay. So that's a little bit of spacing. I honestly don't know why this uh, font is like, I really don't like this font, honestly speaking. But I've tried changing even from the master setting. For some reason it doesn't go away. So that's really bothers me. Anyway, I've selected that. We'll go to the format. First of all, I'll get rid of the uh, the shape outline. And I went to format because I, I want to increase the height. So we'll go to the property sheet. We will increase the height of these controls. So right now 0 0.1931, we'll change it to 0 0.3. And uh, we'll scroll down a little bit and top margin will make it 0 0.04. Okay, so we are aligning this text in the middle of these text boxes. Okay, so that's done. Next, we will expand uh, these two columns or two fields a little bit. The reason being is we will provide uh, the information. So let's say medicine name, the description of medicine. All right, so all these fields that have date, we will uh, go to the property sheet. We will set the width of these fields to 1.3, let's say. Or if it is too much, then we will reduce to 1.2. And also we'll uh, make the font as, uh, sorry, the center. So we'll align that to the center. Okay, so I think so that is enough. But let's see. So we'll close that. Okay, we'll bring this closer to this, not like this, but we'll bring it here. Come on. Now, do I have to spend time here <laughs> in putting that line? No, I don't want. All right, so that's done. Let's make these fields as enable no, not yes. Perfect. Now, we have populated the fields that are relevant to this table. 
now we need to do is we need to copy this form and uh, do a little bit of vb coding as well so stick around we are not uh, done yet okay so i'm just doing a little formatting it's just me i like to do formatting all the time all right so let's copy this form and instead of staff form we will call it medicine form yeah because this will be used to uh, change create medicine details so we'll get rid of all the text fields or text boxes and um, we'll we'll first of all we assign the record source temporarily and that record source would be the medicine table why we have assigned because we will fetch uh, its details so make it full black right click layout stack them arrange adding narrow regular regular formatting go to the property sheet again height 0 0.3 and then margin top margin 0 0.05 or 0 0.04 it's up to you okay we'll expand the labels a little bit we'll then expand the uh, xboxes let's make the label font full bold so these sort of become heading and we'll do a little bit more formatting so the form is a uh, little presentable come on the form is presentable okay so there you go status date there we go okay so let's uh, align this here let's maybe make these fields a little wider okay now we'll select these three and we'll make them non editable the reason being is we don't want users to provide this information uh, manually we will, we will populate it automatically okay so that's done if we'll go to the form view there you go we need to change that from staff to medicine and we need to get rid of the um, control source of this form so not control source the record source okay so first of all get rid of the record source of all the text boxes and the form as well okay and we'll uh, start doing the vb coding also so in here we'll say instead of staff we'll say medicine in the property sheet all right now we'll go to the data tab we'll get rid of the record source that means we will use we will be using record sets to uh, take the data from here and create it in the database so let's go ahead and do that we'll click on create button even tab dot 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 there's a lot of code already so i'm going to get rid of all of it so i can show you um actually the fresh code we can do all right so i'll go back all right here we go now to use record sets what we need to do first is declare variable right so dim rs as a record set okay and we'll say set rs equals to current db dot open record set uh prince open prince close dot double quote double quote and now we will provide the name of the table uh to which we will be sending this information from this form so we paste that here and remember always whenever you're working on external database especially a SQL server you have to provide this okay db open diner set and dbc changes so it doesn't matter you're changing record you're creating you're updating whatever you have to provide this information now once we have determined that now we'll open the uh, record set which is table and we'll start adding um, the uh, record and then after that we will update the record set simply saying save that record in the table now what i used what i like to do is basically i'll go to the design view of this uh, table why because i need to copy and paste the names so that's how it's a little quicker okay so we'll go to description rs exclamation mark description me dot description all right so purchase date rs exclamation mark purchase date me dot purchase date right so you can see that you can speed up a little bit uh, your way of working by using this approach now the next is status so we want by default everything to be active when a new record is created so we'll say me dot status equals active okay and also we'll provide the current date the date when the uh, record was created so status date equals to format and we will give a format to now and we will say uh, day month year okay we'll have parentheses here as well although not mandatory but sometimes it's I don't know for some reason it starts acting weird now we, we can refer to this so rs status equals me dot status what happens to equal sign there you go so next one is rs status state exclamation mark me dot status state perfect now once we have done that what i would like to do is i would like to close the record set remember the table is open right now and for some reason the keyboard as usual acting weird so set rs equals nothing so with these two tiny lines of code 
you are basically closing the record set and you're making sure that it is not open all right and now what i would like to do is i would like to fetch i would like the system to fetch the latest created medicine number and populate in here so for that we'll say not status me dot medicine id equals to dmax so we'll use the our old friend dmax and then we will now provide some information such as what field what fields data you want to fetch so we'll, we'll fetch the medicine id and uh, from where you would like to fetch and well that's the name of the table if it is query you provide the name of the query but for me it's the table right now so we give that name of the table now that uh, id will be populated once that is done i would like to actually requery this form so whatever data is created it gets displayed onto that form so to do that what i will do is i will actually say forms exclamation mark and we'll give the name manage medicine dot requery okay so with that that will happen now once that is done we want to give a message box to the user that hey record has been created so for that we'll say do cmd dot b message box and we'll give a message box the medicine and now you can provide the name of the medicine uh, to be more specific me dot medicine name uh, has been created yep so that's done i think this code should work in terms of creating a new record but we will see yeah let's provide the vb information uh, and double code double code information all right so that's done now let's do a bit of coding behind inactive button and we will still use the record source record set not record source all right so we'll say dim rs update as as record set and we'll say set rs update equals current db dot open record set currency open currency close double quote double quote and we'll give a name of the table so rather than me going there i will simply basically i will copy all of it all right because all of it is required all right we'll go here we'll uh, paste in here okay so once that's done now we will have to search this record remember this table might have hundreds of thousands of uh, medicine records so we'll point out the current uh, visible which is appeared uh, the uh, the medicine record in the table so we'll point out to that so we'll say rs update dot find first and what we are finding medicine id a ampersand me dot medicine id once we have found that once we have pointed out then we are actually good to go rs update dot add it and then rs update dot date okay and now we can say me dot actually rather than me typing again i'll i'll take this and i'm going to paste here now for that i will say it's not active anymore it is inactive we are because we are pressing the inactive button once that is done now we can say rs rs update exclamation mark status equals me dot status rs update oh something's wrong everything is okay i thank god me dot status date equals me dot status date all right so that's done once that's done i want to give a message box and i want to requery the main form as well so that's where you do that and from here instead of created you say update it that's about it okay we'll close that close that close that and let's test it out okay so we'll click on create medicine nothing happens so that means we forgot to provide a code here one liner not much okay so you say do cmd dot open form and then you give a name of that form and so if i remember correctly the name is medicine form okay all right so that's the name okay so that's done all right now let's check it out so it's opening now let's give uh, some information so we can so i know about this panadol tablets oh come on you see that's why i said i hate this font it's so weird font um i don't know description maybe panadol something like that but is date now it's weird it's not there's no uh date picker. usually we have date picker for the dates right for this it's not coming i don't know why we'll check it out later but first let's test it okay so let's say the expired date is on 29 now let's click create and we have a med we have not the medicine we have an error uh, so we have given wrong name where did we give wrong name there you go. manage medicine okay so the form name is incorrect so let's fix it what's the name of the form okay medicines see a little s at the end not here but here 
that means we will update in here as well okay so that's done just because of little s we had that error let's try it again actually it's already created i'll press again so we have another copy of it so we have two panadols okay now the point is i forgot the s i provided the s then it started working but the code is definitely working so this is what i wanted to demonstrate uh, today in this video um i hope that you have learned something if you have please do let me know in the comments below even if you have not tell me also uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload any video thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one